How's it going out there in YouTube world? Uh, this is Wajo, and we're going to be playing Yubo today. Uh, this is going to be kind of a starting up a new campaign kind of thing, going through a couple missions in a go, just kind of getting a feel for it. So this is going to be one of my first times getting into this game. Kind of been looking forward to it. It's really uh, been one I've been watching, and it looks like it's in a place where I'm comfortable playing it now. So uh, I'm sure some of you guys have already been playing it for a while, and if you've got any suggestions, advice tips you want to just tell me i'm a soup sandwich by all means throw them down in the comments below i'll take any help i can get all right so here we go we're going to kick off with a brand new game we are going to go with the first boat and mr pointy nose here because it just seems like that's the easiest way to start off we're going to go with balanced um we're just going to leave everything kind of i think set as is it looks like and Yep, all that's going to be good too, I believe. Sure. Just leave it all as is. And launch the game. Or, nope. First we make our make our captain. All right. Um, well, let's, let's see if we can make this a little bit more appropriate. Um, oh, yeah, you got to have the eye patch. Can't have. A game like this and not have the pirate's eye patch. I mean, it's just necessary. I'm not bald, so let's put some hair on there. Gotta have big, luxurious beard. There you go. Not quite full beard, but I mean, you know, he's got a good start there. It's a good, uh, good first try. All right, let's drop that down to a uh, more realistic color for me. Um, and then, yeah, sure, the rest that's fine. All right. Let's start, let's start off with naming our captain, as always. This is Wajo de Gla. Oh, no. Oh, my. Port of La Rochelle, Saturday, January 11th, 1941. So, early, early days. Alright, that must be our boat. With uh, I mean, Is that supposed to be like a characterized swordfish? I mean, it seems that way, but then the, the, the saw blade nose is kind of throwing me a little bit. Alright, we got some, uh, some sirens in the background. I do apologize for that. Um, all right, so before we go on our first patrol, we'll recommend you undergoing training. Well, I've already done the training. Um, if you guys want to see a training video or something like that where they walk through all the trainings, you're definitely, you know, throw it down in the comments. I can make one, but um, you'll have to take my word for it. It's a little, uh, little boring. Um, my goodness, they got all of the sirens out today. I hope whoever that is is all right. Um, all right, so let's just, let's get stuck in. Is deeply impressed by your last patrol. Well, thank you. I didn't know I had one. I, you're going to make me do it. These okay. Are orders from headquarters. Your eyes only. All right. Yep. Let's just skip through this real quick. Basically, they want us to go grocery shopping. What do you need, officer? I, I, I need groceries. So let's go here. Thank you. 
that's where we buy from that's how much money we have that's where we're going to sell to and then you drag and drop across so let's grab fuel first and foremost because apparently we didn't start with fuel no real reason why just didn't oh okay and then we're going to need torpedoes it looks like <laughs> okay um so here's something i don't know which is what all the difference between these torpedoes are i mean you've got tier one and tier two if that's what that stands for but there's a di distinction there but we also have these uh, little starred ones, which are a V2, so version 2 of a tier 1 torpedo. Which makes me think it's probably not tier 1, because why would you make a version 2 of that if you've already got a tier 2 out? Hmm. I don't know. But, so, again, comment section down below. Uh, you know, help me out here with which which torpedoes do what and, and what, we, uh, what we should be using on the boat. For right now, not knowing any better, I like tier 2. Uh, being a gamer, that always sounds better, and it comes at my favorite price, which is free. So we're going to grab them, and we're going to put them over here. All right. Yeah, it takes a little while to move everything across, so we get to skip some time. And these poor dudes have been running around laps all day. I don't know what they did to piss off their uh, NCO, but it must have been pretty bad. Um, yep, nope, see him just going down right back to running again. Um, that, that's, that's some next level beating going on right there. All right, let's see what we got. Let's talk to Admiral the leading officer. Yeah, I bought so those groceries like a beast. All right, let's see we got, These are let's see what we got for a mission. Your eyes only. Good, good, good. Okay, new offense is the Black Pit. Very good. Allied defense is currently weak in the middle of the Atlantic since it's out of the range of aircraft bases. U-boat skippers call this area the Black Pit. We have to exploit this weakness as much as possible before the Allies improve their defensive measures. Cool. So we get 50,000 GRT. Um, a milk cow. Yeah, that that's what that says. That's a milk cow. Right. I have no idea what that means. Oh, well, it looks like there's a little bit of a movie going on back there. All right, so... Southern routes. High command suspects many ships flying neutral flags, but supporting Allied war effort. Some of them are enemy ships using a false flag to disguise themselves, while others are private ships from neutral countries trading in the blockaded ports. It's this inspect all this in here's the milk cow thing again throw it down in the comments below if you if if you know what that means because that's that's pretty crazy it looks kind of like a submarine to me but i've never heard of a milk cow i don't know what that is all right well let's let's kick this off shall we um first things first let's do just i guess a standard sector patrol All right, sink enemy trade ships with a total gross register tonnage of 4,000 tons. All right, fair enough. Sure, let's do that. And we've got our fuel and everything already on board. We took care of that already, so... Let's get out of here. No, not faster, faster. You leave port slowly. Have you ever heard of no wake zones? Come on, man. All right. Now that we're going a little bit, we're going to kick out to the map. And where are we headed? We are headed... Um, oh, oh, wow. Well, that's a drive. Here's hoping we make it. <laughs> Change course. Yep. Go on and hook us up there, Bubba. Let's kick it up to forward two. Faster, faster. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. So we've got a fuel consumption right here. Okay. All right, that works. Hmm. 
speed up time. All right, speed up time again. All right, now I'm starting to see some movement here. Oh yeah, we're getting going. It's gonna take a hot minute. So we're losing three liters a minute. We have 12,000 kilometers on current usage. So do, do we get more fuel efficient? Oh yes, we do. Okay, so get, get back to that. Yeah, let's not burn extra gas if we don't have to. I'm happy to take the extra time. All right, so let's let's go plaid. And let's just bebop along here. Uh-oh. Why did our ship stop? There we go. Yeah, that's a that's a bit of a travel. All right. And what do we got for fuel going on? 11,000. All right, so we should have plenty of gas now. Uh, two days at sea so far. Okay, good enough. Discipline's good, varied dishes, nice, normal lighting, good. Fresh air. Everybody likes a little fresh air. All right, fair enough. And looks like here we come on station. So we've got to travel 2,000 kilometers inside the marked area. Okay. And we need to sink enemy trade ships worth a total gross register tonnage of 4,000 tons. Okay. Let's, first things first, let's go to Dexawash. Smoke over horizon detected. Oh, okay. Where? Um, where at? You don't, you're not showing me the, oh. Oh, right there. Oh, Lord. That's close. All right. Head up that way. Let's drop down to periscope depth. And what do we have going on right here? We have max sight, clear sight. So this must be our periscopes. All right, fair enough. Um, Switch to electric motors. Yep, definitely good. All right. Let's see it. What do we got? Can you show it to me? All right, right there. All right, let's... Radio off is missing. Well, that's no bueno. Let's get our guys on station here. What are you guys up to here? Osterman, get over yes, to the sir. listening room. Our radio room's right there. We got a dude in it. Oh, I guess that's not actually a officer, though. Okay. Hmm. Periscope depth. Yes, sir. Out of range. Oh, well, all right. And get back over here on yes, the listening sir. room. And uh, let's get some let's get some sonar active. What are we looking at for our sonar? Oh, hydrophone range. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Ooh, that does keep growing, doesn't it? Skipper, I've detected a ship. Perfect. That's what we wanted. 
units may be anywhere inside a radius of 9.4 kilometers. All right. Set a well, course to then coordinates. get over there to those coordinates and let's see. We're in the middle of night. So I think we can risk running at periscope depth. I don't think we're going to be very easily spotted that way. Um, can we pan around? Oh, wait. No, I know what we can do. Go in here and take a look through the scopes, which is a thing I think we can do. Yep, there we go. And let's move it around. I'm not seeing any smoke on the horizon they were talking about just yet. Not that necessarily means a great deal. Nope, I'm definitely not seeing anything. All right. We'll let we'll let the AI handle that for right now. <laughs> Be honest, I don't know what any of this does yet. Like I said, I'm just starting the game off, so and the tutorial didn't. On your order. I did what? Yeah, sure. Throw some extra folks in there. Sounds like that sounds like a good plan. Skipper, I've detected a big group of kids. Seems to be a convoy. That's what we're looking for. Where where are we at? That's this tiny group. Oh, there's our big group. All right. Change course. Get us up to flank speed. Let's go get them. Wonder if that's a scout. Maybe we should be worried about. Oh. We'll figure that out in a minute. All right, let's speed up some time. We want the big group. We definitely don't want little one-off dude here. I also don't want to get spotted just yet, so let's wait till we get by him. Air quality decreasing a little bit. Fuel. Oh, we're running off batteries right now, so that's not too big a deal. But they are definitely traveling faster than we are. What's our speed? Doesn't really say. Okay. Change course. Yes, sir. Try to get out in front of them. You know what? Maybe we come up to. Decks of wash. Kind of have an idea of where they're at, so let's just get some recharge done here. But what is our speed? Gotta be honest, it's not super helpful, guys. <laughs> You'd think they'd have some kind of a, a speed indicator of some sort, something in knots or any, I don't know, any old thing, something. All right. Fifty meters. Skipper, I've detected a big group of ships. 
Switch to electric motor. All right, so we are closing on him still. Faster, faster. Switch to diesel engines. Our quality's back up. How's our compressed air doing? I don't see it. Hmm. Visibility's at 30%. Wow. Really? That's... I would have thought with Dexa Wash that would have been a little less than that, but okay. Detected a big group of ship. Switch to electric motors. Yes, sir. I don't know if we're getting closer or not. It feels like we're not really getting that much closer. Again, let's just keep Four time moving tanks. fast with this. Switch to diesel engines. Meters. Full the tanks. Switch to diesel engines. Fifty meters. Switch to electric motors. What are we doing here, guys? Because I kind of feel like we're outside of our range now. Did we miss the convoy? Change course. Must have done. The tanks. Switch to diesel engines. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah, we must have done. Because I'm not getting any kind of sonar reports now. Oh, it looks like all of my sonar people are in freaking bed. Of course they are. Um, well, what do you do about that? Ah. <sighs> Okay, so that's, we're going to definitely need some crew that can do useful things like, oh, I don't know, run sonar. Alright, um... Do we have somebody that can possibly run this stuff for us? You. Can you do it? No, I think you're actually a... I think I just put an engineer on... Okay, so give me... Give me sonar. What are we looking at? Switch to electric motors. Skipper, I've detected a big group of ships. Set a course for these coordinates. Okay, this is getting a little tiresome. These guys are apparently faster than we are. Faster, faster. All right, go, I guess. <laughs> 20 meters. Guys, it's not looking good Switch for us here, I'm just saying. On your order. Oh, hold on. Looks like we got a spot, a sighting. Change course. Yeah, we are decks of wash. All right, good. All right. Omar, take your positions. Let's go to periscope, periscope depth. depth. Switch to electric motors. There we go. Periscope depth. Very good. I've detected a big group of ships. Yes, I know. Big group of ships. Gotcha. Oh, wait. That's that little one again. 
Well, that's frustrating. You know what? We're just we, we're gonna sink somebody. Yep, that is definitely a cargo ship. Set a course for these coordinates. Set a course for these coordinates. I'm gonna get greedy. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna get greedy. We're gonna go try to intercept this bigger group. I want the tonnage. Change course. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. My goodness, it does take a while to get anything going on. Let's get you. This routine kills me. Take a, take a snap. Let's you get, get over here on the hydrophone. It's the middle of the day now. Take your positions. Uh oh. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I see smoke on the horizon. We definitively have ships spotted. Set a course for these coordinates. Switch to diesel engines. Damage report. Alarm! Oh Please no! What happened? Why did? Oh, we're taking shots. Periscope deck. Get down. What did we do? Ran right Switch into a. Ran right into a bad guy there. Oh, that's great. Yeah, no, thanks. I think we picked that up. Alright, um, do we have a... Is there a doctor in the house? Get over here and fix stuff. Can, can I do that? Damage to a light bulb, sailors in critical state. Okay, we need to get them help. Okay, Old Orp is providing help. It looks like good, good. Um, all right. Let's get the Copy. pumps Copy going. Tip. Let's get the pumps going. Let's get. All right, good. Meyer's fixing stuff. That's good. Hanging out. Get, dude. I need you to get up and do literally anything at this point. Um. Can you cure sick or something? Do something useful. My guy is just not gonna do anything. All right, well, that's that's great there, buddy. Yeah, you just you're you're resting and you're that's that's what you're doing, huh? Get leave position. There we go. Thank you. Oh. Repair completed. Good night. Nope. I don't know what I've done. Can you do a job, please? Uh, uh, you know, if anybody's got any ideas on what I'm doing wrong here, very willing to uh, take some advice here. As it stands, though, I think I think we've we've made a m mush of this. What do we have? We have enemy warships coming straight at us now, and all of our 
So that must be the freighters. Those are warships. Yep. That's a thing. Alright, well, let's try and get over to the. Where? Per let's. That's, um. 50 meters. Let's go completely submerged. Try to get out of here. Repair completed. I don't think this is going to go well for us. Oh, how did they die? Like, did nobody. Nobody was going to help them, huh? Cool, we just let them lay there until they keeled over. That's a thing that happens. And my boy's over here back in the, like, this dude does nothing but sleep, yo. Oh, man. All right. Well, at least I think we're getting away from the surface ships. Nope. Spoke too soon. That's a whole lot of bad. A ship is directly above us. Yeah, thanks. We picked up on that. Depth charges kind of gave that away. Depth charges. Oh, man, they are just all Skipper, on us. Look at this. <laughs> okay. And Take now we've board. taken damage again. Skipper, a ship is directly above us. Depth charges. 150 meters. Depth charges. Skipper, on a ship thing. is directly above us. Depth charges. Get Depth us charges. out of here. Skipper, a ship is directly above us. Okay, how about if we change course a little bit? Let's try going this way. Just do a quick turn. Okay. How do we help these people who are hurt? Are you willing to do anything for your boy now? Yes, sir. No, that's not useful. Sir, do we not have any medical supplies on board? Things are just going bad all the way around. Oh, and we're sinking. No, get us back up to the surface. Surface, surface ship. Can the, are the pumps not working? Nope, the pumps are, we are, well boys, it's been an honor, privilege working with you. I, uh, I don't know what else to say. We, uh, we're not making it out of this one. It's hard to breathe, my friend. It's we're all underwater. Yep. Nope. I think that's gonna be the end of us. There goes everybody. Oh, hate to see it. I've lost the whole group. Just going in. There we go. Yep. Well, that didn't go very well at all, did it, guys? Um, yeah. Okay, well, there you have it. That was uh, that was our first four-way into U-boat. It went very badly. <laughs> um, again, if you have any comments or suggestions, anything like that that you want to throw down at the bottom, any ways that we can not all end up dead, I'll uh, definitely, definitely be looking out for those. But um, we're going to end it here for this one. We're going to come back next time and hopefully not die. Uh, again, thanks for watching. And uh, this is Wajo signing out.